Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the matter. Yes, so Hello everybody, my name is Ekua Mens Moses. I live in the United States and in Las Vegas particularly. I'm a teacher too. I teach um, K through five, which um, I guess kindergarten yeah, through fifth grade, so okay. primary school. And I teach the STEM subjects, so science, technology, engineering, math. Um, I used to be a literacy specialist, so I worked on reading. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I was a literacy specialist, so I taught reading and math, and I taught teachers uh, for many years. So I'm happy to be with you today and see your library and the books that you have here. Um, I brought some books. I also wrote a book myself. So I wanted to donate the book to the library, so that way the students and you all could read as well. Okay. I have a soccer ball and the pump. So read the one you tell us the soccer ball. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. My name is Aladros. Thank you very much for checking us out. This is Echo Simpson. Um, thank you for appreciating our show. I know we've been connecting on Twitter and then you've been watching my videos on uh, YouTube. And then my beautiful sister decided to come to Ghana and then pay us a visit. And this is one of the books that she's written. Uh, my name is Aladros. So you have donated this to the school, right? Yes. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Yeah, that is what. We honestly want to do together, you know. Mm -hmm. We are all lucky to be where we are, mm -hmm. but definitely some will be way apart, you know, have upper hand than most of us. So this is like a dream come true for some of us because we always want to connect. Mm -hmm. You are out there, you are seeing the development and innovativeness and everything, mm -hmm. and we are here trying to get to that level. Right. So when we get some things like this, it yes. makes us happy. Yes. Yeah, and I really appreciate it. Yes. And the whole staff and the school, we appreciate it. You're welcome. Yes. And I wanted to donate the book because I think it's important for students to see themselves in their books, mm -hmm. see themselves in what they're reading, mm -hmm. and know that their Ghanaian name is beautiful, it's special. Mm -hmm. And that is my journey. Even though I might be in the United States, I still have connections to hope. Yes. I still am a fun teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a little bit. But my parents made an effort to try and teach me Auntie, and so that's some of the things that I said in the book and what my name means as well. So that's my mother and my father. Okay. This I know him. You've been talking to me. His father is a one great uh, man. He sent he sent me some books. Yes. Some African books and I have them in there. Things fall yeah, apart. Yeah, things fall apart. You know what I would call it? Ciao, and then you can eat this to Absolutely. Okay. So what, what do you see? Yeah. Access. My name is Ekua. Ah, you're Rebecca? Nice. And you're what? Because I know that this is a school with, you have... Yeah, we have kindergarten. Yeah, so I want them to be 
be able to see themselves from a young age represented in books. So I have this one as well. And then I brought um, a few more by some Ghanaian authors. Okay. Um, so that way that they'll know. Yeah. They can be a writer too, that their story matters, their story is important. And then I brought a couple of African American authors as well, so they can kind of see how. African Americans in other parts of the world are, you know, seeing themselves in books and their story and how their story is different um, than theirs. And I brought some dice. Um, I brought a lot of dice actually for the teachers to be able to use for math. Um, when I encourage the kids to make their own games, design their own games, um, it's just for practicing addition. You can roll and add the two numbers together. You can roll and you can multiply the two numbers together. Obviously, you can play local games like Uno and other things like that and encourage them to be creative. So, I brought lots of dice for the school. And uh, this is another um, latest release. It just came out. This is the card. I did not write this, so no. But I thought that this would be a good one because it's relevant to Ghana and the Kayayo. Uh -huh. So their students will be able to see themselves and their community represented in literature too. And then I brought some things to get them writing, yes, yes. writing their story. Since you were a writer, mm -hmm. maybe we can come up with an idea. When you get back a while, we will um, have the kids write. An essay, yeah. and then it will be for you to pick the best one, oh, and then wow. we give an award from you. So oh, that will look so beautiful. Like maybe every term, yes. if we have some kids to write a book, we will maybe have some idea to even write some more books. I would love it. Yes. That would be fantastic. Definitely want to say it. And uh, I don't know if you live in Ireland. I'm living on Island. Oh, because mm -hmm. we have. We are, like, we are commissioning the library on the 12th of August. So I was going to give you your invitation card. Oh, because you. you're not here. Maybe. Yeah, I won't be here, but I'll be here in spirit. Yeah. And I'll definitely look for the video Thank and you. watch that too. Because YouTube is very powerful and I yeah. learned so much from you and your videos. And I especially like watching your channel because you are wow. showing papers. Yes. And yeah. that is a special and weird place to my heart. So I applaud everything that you're doing here and uh, I would love to see the work continue this year. Yes. In the United yeah. States, and yeah. we really take for yeah. granted. Yeah. And even just seeing the chalkboard and the writing here just takes you back. And you think, wow, progress is made, progress to be made. Yeah. So, wow, you're yeah. I applaud you for your advocacy and how you're trying to let the community know and see. And I think that's the powerful thing about YouTube is we're able to see firsthand um, what it's like in another part of the world and how education is so different and opportunity, the opportunity gap exists because we don't all have the same opportunity for the education, but amazing things are happening here too. I'm just looking at the board and I'm yeah. remembering my days of teaching young ones to read and know their numbers and those things and how my experience yeah. was very different yes. um, than this. So I'm happy to visit with you today. Mm. It's